so uh, just a public service announcement right quick, now that it's dawned on me. Uh, it's getting to that time of year again, we're starting to warm up a little bit. I mean, it's 62 degrees today, it's supposed to be like 30 tomorrow, but then when you pull your bikes out of storage, for those of you that are in a place where you couldn't ride them, you know, you got to store it, store it, whatever. Make sure you do your maintenance test, you know. Check your chain, make sure it's clean, make sure it's tightened to the proper to proper looseness. Uh, check your tire pressure. Uh, you should be checking your tire pressure at least once a week. You know, make sure your oil's good to go. Check that shit, change it if you have to. You see your basic pre-maintenance thing. So you end up, end up on the side of the road with a fucked up bike because you forgot to do something. You know, because follow your owner's manuals. Those give you a, quite a few more details that I can't think of off the top of my head. And all your lubrication points that you need to hit semi-annually or semi-quarterly or quarterly or every other fucking second day of the third Tuesday of each week, you know? And just check your shit, you know? These things are mechanical objects. They fail. They break. Shit gets worn out. You know, it's like anything else. If you don't take care of it, it's not going to take care of you. I know I'm fucking behind on that. I've been meaning to clean my chain for a minute. Uh, my oil's due. I, my oil's not really due to, for a change for another, like, another thousand miles or so, but it's waiting for it to warm up when I do that, so that way... And I do that, and I clean my chain. I'll probably do all that in the same day. The way I clean my chain, and it won't be cold out, so the fucking thing will actually get cleaned off. I won't have to worry about water sitting on it or whatever I wash it off with. And then when I reapply the chain lube, it'll fucking actually stick to it. It'll dry right. It's another thing, when you do your maintenance, make sure your temperature considerations are right. Don't just don't just throw that shit together and hope it's good and then you, it's not it's too cold outside for the treatment to sit right you know, just make sure you're doing your stuff right you know you don't want to you don't want to have a you know what it's like worse than doing your maintenance is, or worse than not doing your maintenance is doing your maintenance and then doing it wrong you have to do it again or you have to replace something because something broke yeah, make sure you, I mean, honestly, like, and if, if I'm telling, what am I thinking about it? If you don't know, like, right off the top of your head right now what tire pressure you're supposed to have in your front and your rear tire, because they're probably different, the two, you are fucking a no-go at this station. Like, like my front tire, as per fa Kawasaki factory specifications, is 28 PSI. My rear tire is 32 PSI. That is a manufacturer specification. Like, if you don't know your manufacturer specifications off the top of your head or whatever it is posted on the tire, you uh, need to do some soul searching, my friend, because you are fucked up. Especially on a motorcycle, your tires are probably the... Oh, shit. Your tires are the most important thing in the world to you. If you don't have those shit taken care of, like, to a fucking T. Uh, you're probably cruising for a bruising. Uh, just make sure you got, just, it's like, for, if you do nothing else, make sure you got your tires taken care of. That's all I'm trying to say. But, uh, you all take care now. See you this summer. Goodbye.